James Brown. Yeah, it's good for our boy. Yeah. They celebrity, James Brown. Yeah. Yeah, the big album used to be right there. Yeah. Swim Suit Contest. Watch the Terrace Park on Sundays. What? The pack $2 on Sunday. So how y'all so feel about the state of High Point? Not good, not good. What's bad about it? Not growing. Not growing? Not the community is black community. There's not enough jobs up not here. Not Just this Kimona happy, everything going down here. What's going on? Like, talk to me, baby girl. It's like you can't find no jobs. There's not no decent housing down here for us. We out here. Like, we're literally out here. Yeah. So, got people sleeping on the street because they don't got nowhere to go. You can barely sleep at the park at night. That's how bad it's getting. Away. They took it everything away. Basically, if you did have a cubby hole, you don't got no cubby hole no more because they're boarded up from your town. So we really don't got nowhere to lay our heads at the end of the night. And then you want to talk about we regular get you. What else do you want us to do? The economy is bad. You ain't helping us with a roof over our head. We only get a couple of meals and a couple of meals, a couple of days in a week. Like, come on now. We suffering it out here. So it's no jobs, and there's nobody willing to give y'all help for the things that y'all need. Yeah, look at that, I, put it. I bet you a white male could get a job better than us black people could. Mm. Not being racist, but it is what it is up here. Do you think how point is racist? Some people. Mm. You got some people in certain buildings who are racist, and then you got some for the black. Mm. So tell me something good about how point. The only thing that's really good is when you got some people who come out their house and feed us, give us our clothes that we yeah, need. They pull up here every time. Come and get us for church and stuff, but then after that, it's like, you don't got nothing else to be looking for. You in the application, you don't call you. Especially for housing, it's hard. It's hard. Everything is closed. So services is closed, can't get help with, from them. Everything closed up here. Mm. If you got to be certified, you got to do it over the phone. And some people don't know how to do that on the phone. Yeah, because I'm technology is... I have a hard time with technology, too. It's for the people who... The millenniums, you know? It's not for us people who grew up and don't really know how to use social media and things of that, that nature, you know? Yeah, they don't care. Yeah. All they care about is a paycheck in their pocket. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And what are you all's names so you know the people out here they can I'm see it? Here. Why are you crying? Why are you crying, baby girl? It hurts. It hurts. Yeah. When you don't know where you're going to lay your head at at the end of the night. Mm -hmm. It hurts out here. You got some people sleeping on church, church property to get sleep. sleep. You got some people who live sleep out here, sleep across the street in front of the store and laundry mat. Like, it's crazy, you got new owners at the laundry man who run swing guns at you. When you walk out of court in the cop, and you been here for years, but he don't are. understand that mess. Like, you don't got nowhere to go. He don't give a damn. So this store you across the street, you talking about this store across the yeah, street? Oh, right? so why are the owners so bad? The owner at the store, the good is the laundry mat. It's the laundry mat? Yeah. And y'all spend y'all money with them, and they complain about, what do they complain about? Our kind. Our kind? Our kind. He won't tell us what he means by that when we ask him that. Shit, I should go ask him. Go ask him. It's half of us who's out here, it's his customers. And you still treat us like crap. You still want to finger a gun out on folks. What reason? For mm -hmm. one reason, then when the cops come, you want to put your gun up like you didn't break it out here on us. Yeah. Come on now. You know, how point you have to be strong to live in the city or be from the city because I'm not from here. here. I'm not from here. You was born and raised from? Yeah. And how many people have you seen like succeed in High Point that you know of? I've seen I've seen a couple of succeed. I've seen some happen. You mm -hmm. got through that I make it. You got through ain't make it. But you still got all these homeless people that run the streets every day. Mm -hmm don't have nowhere to sleep, they don't even know where they're going to wash their ass, where they're going to sleep, or where their next meal coming from. See, a lot of people think that people that's homeless don't try, like they haven't tried anything to help we themselves. Tried. And every time we try, we get on our feet. Some of us lose our job because of the economy. They cut us. 
because their pay ain't good and they can't pay everybody. So how could you keep your apartment? Or how could you keep a house when you got fired from your job? Like, how? What's the, what's the minimum wage in High Point? Like, Nine dollars. And how hard is the labor around here though? You got the work, you got you got the you got the sweat. You got the, the sweat. You got the labor is hard. And for as a job or you got to have some type of education for a job. Mm. Or what you trying to accomplish. And these are mostly like furniture stores and like front the furniture stores, restaurants, fast foods. Mm. Warehouses. They don't even hire nobody for the fast food. If they go by your record, you know. Well, you have to have a good record. Yeah, yeah that's that's some people do have criminal records. Out they here. won't even hire nobody yeah. with a record. So you would tell me you would hire somebody bad opposed to hiring somebody who's willing to work and take care of themselves. But they don't do that. They don't do that. They look at your past. Your past. I had a, a messed up past, you know, I used to sell drugs and then I started writing books and, everybody, you know. Everybody got a past. I yeah. got a fucked up past. Yeah. But I worked through it, you know what I'm saying, maintain. You yeah. got to maintain to live out here. Yeah. If you don't know how to maintain to live out here in these streets, you ain't going to have nothing. Because everybody got to have maintain, got to have responsibility out, out here. Mm -hmm. If you ain't never stayed in the streets, you will never know. How life is out here in these streets. Okay, so I see you. You have the Black Lives Matter. You had a Black Lives Matter mask on. But how is the killing in Hot Point? Because that's what everybody's worried about. Like the drugs, the drugs, I get it. We sell drugs and, you know, we, we go to jail. We pay for our crime. But it's a lot of unsolved mysteries in Hot Point. You know, like people that's dying and they're not hearing any information about it. But the guys who's selling drugs for the families and stuff, they're going to jail for years and years. But the killers are still out here. So it makes me wonder, you know, the police are barking up the drug dealers tree, but they're not worried about the killers. Do they want the killers to stay out here or what you think about that? Killing. It's a lot going on in the world, but and black on black crime, and that's it's it's really us blacks killing ourselves. We got to come together instead of killing us, the population. You know. You're right. But I don't condone this killing. It, it ain't right, and you know yeah. it ain't fair. What have y'all ate today? I ate some cakes from the You ate some cakes? Yeah. They feeding y'all like shit or they looking out for y'all? Sometimes you got shit, um, dinner, shit Ball breakfast food. sometimes. Sometimes Ball you food. got fucked up lunch sometimes or dinner from the shelter. Yeah. Make yeah, and I understand that. I just hate that the state of Hot Point is in what it's in. Like, People see the college, but they don't see the bad parts or the people that loves this city who who grew up in these these streets and these, you know, projects. And they're turning them down. They're taking like a piece of our memory. And they're, and they're building. I'm, I'm like, what are they building for the youth, for the black, you know, for the black men and women? You know, it's nothing for us to do besides play football and basketball and to sell drugs because the gangs and stuff are really, you know, they're really on high alert around here and they're recruiting our young men and, you know, young sisters and they got them in the streets. You know, we want them to be doing something positive, you know, because it's some good people in this city and I want to see a lot of people do good in this city. You know, I love y'all and that's why I'm out here. I even took the time to to show people where I grew up from, show them how it is, you know, and how messed up it is, you know. And to make it up out of here, it's a blessing. You know, I thank God every day that I, I am from High Point, that I had to go through this struggle because it made me one hell of a person. It made me tough, but it also, it took away a lot of love out of my heart, though, because, 
you know, it's so it's so messed up and grimy down here. But it's a lot of love and a lot of good people, and that's that's why I'm glad that I'm from High Point. Hey, I got I got a question for you, fam. What's in it? Why do good guys love bad girls? Man, why do why do good guys love bad girls? Yeah. Cause man, they always into some shit, and that shit just. What is it to do though? Man, it, it, it halfway be nothing to do. Like long story short, all the tennis got gone. There's no more tennis for the kids no more. You know what I'm saying? Like all that little stuff that we had growing up, it's just like, it's how we acting. You know what I'm saying? You ain't protected if you ain't got that iron on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Long story short, if you ain't got that iron on, you're not protected. You can't trust nobody out here. And, yeah. and, and it's the young niggas that's doing it now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What it is is this, the older people that's out here that did their time. You feel me? They got back out. They not trying to do that dumb shit no more. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's it's the younger people with no motivation. They ain't got no nobody to look up to, no good to show. They got no guidance, you know what I'm saying? All they know is just what the radio say, you feel me? So most of yeah. this right here just built up off what they think is right, you know what Do I'm you saying? think the OGs of High Point, do you think they care about the young guys that's out here wilding? Do you think they would even... Yeah, sir, I'm gonna I'm say certain ones, but most of them got the young niggas doing the dumb shit. <laughs> they got the young niggas doing the dumb shit? These niggas ain't gonna go do no time, you feel me? It's yeah. the young niggas. The young niggas, got, they ain't got no charges, you feel me? Yeah. You caught with the guns, you feel me? They on probation and something get let back out. Yeah, but one of my homies told me, he said, man, it's like when people when people get up and their thing is not, am I going to make money or am I going to get a job or do something better for myself? They catch a body. 